Evil of the Game released finally on Friday. Uh, even though the Twitter, the official Twitter said that it was going to release at Thursday at midnight, wherever you are. You lie to me, Evil Dead Game official Twitter. And I got the tweet to prove it. I was there. It did not work for me. It did not work for many people. Anyway, besides the point, finally worked Friday. And I've been playing it nonstop since Friday, folks. Let me stay off the obvious or go off the deep end here, folks. I am a huge Evil Dead fan. I love this franchise. And I guess one of my pet peeves is when Evil Dead comes to video games, it's been kind of mixed. It's been okay. All right. We, we haven't had a definitive Evil Dead game. We could all agree that is amazing or good. And I feel like this might be it, folks. I really am enjoying this game right now. The production value, the look and sound of this game is phenomenal. Like they've got obviously we got bruce campbell playing four different versions of himself from different movies and the tv show you got old actors coming back from the show movies you, you got king arthur henry the red all, all these other characters it they all sound great and amazing um like just the look of the game like the the details one detail i noticed while playing it is that when ash is saying one of his lines when you go from outside to inside you there's like an like an echo of him being inside of a room it's it's a really cool effect that i've noticed um the gore effects the blood there is gore and this leaves up this live lives up to the evil dead game like when you shotgun blast a deadite right in the in its face the blood spattering screen almost fills up your whole screen folks it's amazing it's freaking amazing um what like what what else we go the combat let's go with the combat while well, we're talking about combat and you see it here uh the combat is very similar to <clears throat> an, an elder ring or, or demon souls where, where your melee attacks are on the right bumper or the right trigger you have your light melee attack and your heavy melee attack and you really gotta time your melee attack some people were complaining that the combat was sluggish and it honestly depends on what melee weapon you're rocking so if you you know right here ash is rocking the chainsaw so it's a little slower but does the damage if you're rocking like a little knife or something you, or your fist obviously you attack faster but you won't do as much damage one of the cool features about this game is you don't really have to switch between melee and shooting you if you want to shoot you hold the left trigger bring up your gun and you shoot with the right trigger if you want to melee you just you just press the melee buttons without holding the left trigger. It's it's very fluid for a game. One one of the things I was worried about was how much shit is on screen here. And tell you I tell you, I think the game makes you play the tutorial, and you're gonna want to play the tutorial. The tutorial definitely explains everything, and once it explains everything, it's very an easy concept of a game to to get down. Like you, you got well, majority of stuff is mapped to the D-pad. You know, up for your health, right for your amulet down to level up you, you'll pick up these pink bottles that i don't think they're fully explained what the fuck they are they give you skill points in game so you level up in game during the matches which is another great thing um right now you're watching footage from one of the the missions so a lot of people were curious is there a single player mode yes and no you get like five missions and this one is kind of based off the first evil dead movie so you're by yourself looking to bury your girlfriend's head uh, linda and you get these really cool i think they'll come up shortly uh, these really artistic loading screens I, I i gotta find if this artist's work is i want i want the loading screens as wallpaper for this so they're they're gorgeous um so the missions vary from you playing ash to other characters from the series doing a, a different variety of objectives one of my pet peeves with these missions is there is no checkpoints folks so if you die after playing one of these missions for 20 or 30 minutes you gotta restart the whole fucking mission folks so yeah heads up on that one but honestly my advice for you some of these missions can be challenging search for items get all the items use everything at your disposal be smart and you can do it and trust me the last mission of in the mission series is pretty great with some great fan service that really surprised me and got me excited as an evil dead fan and they plan to add more of these missions so i can't wait um so you get yeah five missions now the main mode of the game is the online game the online mode and 
how is the online? I gotta tell you, for our for the launch of an online game, it's been pretty smooth on my end. I have not come across major issues. Maybe a glitch here and two where a character got stuck in a wall or I lost the ability to do things as a demon. But on the survivor end of it, it's it's it's, it's uh, up to four players versus a human player that's controlling the demon, or you could just play AI mode. You don't have to fight any any real humans if you don't want to. So it's it's four survivors, and you start off each. The, first off, the maps in this game are huge, detailed. And they're all inspired from the movie or the TV show. Such iconic locations from the movies and the TV shows you will see. It's fucking awesome. Um, they're fucking huge. The maps are huge. And you start off by looking for three, pi three pieces of a map. Once you find that, you can go to, to get the Kandarian Dagger or the Necronomicon pages. And then you have to play like a... Uh, king of the hill kind of mode where you, you you're there trying to survive while the kandarian dagger loads up or the the flag loads up and once that happens you get those two items you then have to go defeat the evil ones and then you have to protect the necronomicon pages and if you're successful you rid the world of all the demons and that's pretty much how the match objectives play out and you, you're thinking to yourself well is that all there is honestly there's so much going on in a match from especially if you're fighting a human player who's controlling the demon who can possess the enemies who can who could possess you as a player if you have too much fear i forgot to touch upon that you have a fear meter so if your fear meter goes up too high you know your your vision gets blurry your sound gets blurry yeah right there you had like a little jump scare that's because the kadarian demon player just jumped through you they could possess you and you take over your, your 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 character body and attack other players it's freaking phenomenal not only that the demon player can can summon bosses with different abilities like henrietta or evil ash or, or the demon from ash and e uh, versus evil dead um so there's a lot going on so I, i've seen a lot of people online be like oh it's, it, it's very repetitive like it's just the same objectives and i'm just like i don't know i don't feel like it's repetitive i know we're doing the same things but like you're going through locations, looking for items, uh, looking for weapons, trying to stick together, fighting whatever whatever comes your way from deadites to trees to cars to, to boss characters attacking you. Um, it's just weird for me to hear people complain that this is repetitive because like Dead by Daylight, and now correct me if I'm wrong, their main mode is just like you activating switches, trying to avoid the boogeyman and like running around that that is a very popular game to this day so i feel like this game is very similar to that and this this is like an a very improved friday the 13th in my opinion folks like this is like friday the 13th but like with high production value with some really good balancing so far like i'm really enjoying this and like if you get bored of being survivors or you can't like d you're definitely going to want to play with friends or play with people that communicate communication is key because if you guys don't stick to that, if, if you wander alone by yourself, your fear goes up way fast, folks. So definitely want to find a team of people that play together and communicate. So on the demon side, you're seeing some of the demon gameplay right here. You're flying around like the, the iconic uh, demon from the Evil Dead series and you're activating traps and you're trying to build up your, your, your skills set here so you can summon portals and eventually summon the boss character to, to terrorize and kill the players and i tell you i have so much fun playing this game as survivor playing this game as a demon even though on the demon side there's a lot to do like you're flying around trying to activate shit trying to do portals so it almost it could, it could feel a little overwhelming at times but you really got to find which demon team you like whether it's the you know henrietta's or evil ashes and you gotta find what, what what their skills and abilities like every character has different skills and abilities like from evil dead 2 uh ashes uh his special ability is to get rid of a, a demon players possess like right now i'm possessing a dead eye so if evil ash 2 were to activate his ability it would send my soul out of that dead eye but i wouldn't be able to possess that dead eye anymore yeah there's a lot to this game and trying to figure out which of the human survivors you like or which of the demon players you like and you can level up characters abilities too like there's so much array to this game the launch has been pretty goddamn smooth i don't i really don't have much complaints 
I've really been enjoying this, this game, and apparently they they already teased the first DLC is is based off a map of uh, Army of Darkness. So yeah, like. And they said that the new map's free, so that's good too. They already got some DLC costumes you could buy. They already got a season pass. Um, I'm really curious to see where they're gonna go with this game. If 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 they are gonna change up the objectives, um, where it could go, I I get a, a sort of taste of where they could go with different objectives in the mission modes, from maybe doing a horde mode or some other stuff, but. You know, they're definitely planning to add more characters from the Evil Dead franchise. I hope they add some more, you know, iconic demons. And, you know, they got Henrietta so far, Evil Ash, and the... I can't remember the damn demon's name from Ash versus Evil Dead. Maybe someone in the chat will correct me. But yeah, like, the sky's the limit. It seems the game is, is, is doing successful so far. Um, yeah, this is it, folks. If you're an Evil Dead fan, this is it. This is the game. Like, I am having... A hell of a time with this game folks i cannot get enough the game feels good looks good sounds good it is fun to play especially with friends and if you get no friends you can be a demon and terrorize other players too and i gotta be honest as a versus online game there have been very few frustrating moments where i i have felt like we've gotten our asses whooped or destroyed by someone that is high level or knows what they're doing it, it really feels so far very evilly balanced so far but you know, people are going to find little loopholes, but the, the, the devs have said, you know, report any loopholes. They can update the game instantly without major patches. It's something that's similar to what fighting games do. So that's interesting, too. All right. Well, if I I'm really trying to think of any complaints for you folks, I haven't got anything. Well, let's give a score. I give Evil Dead the game an eight out of ten. If you're an Evil Dead fan, you're going to have a hell of a time, folks. There is so much fan service to this game. The game feels so good and the best part of it is everybody in the human survivor team could be an ash that you could all run around with four different versions of ash i, I can't recall a, a game where where you took a major character and gave players the ability to all be that character it's fucking great and you also get achievement for it so yeah definitely check it out even if you're not a fan of the series check it out as well and it might make you a fan of the series check out the movies they're iconic they're amazing um, yeah, that's my review of uh, Evil Dead the game.